If you, I mean, all you need is a part from me and gauge. Just get yourself a PPM gauge. You'll see. Oh, man. I got one in the garage. You need to go get your Keep it in there on the upper shelf. Just don't get it close to the outhouse. Yeah. No, it's on the opposite end from there. Then you'll be fine. Some of that cotton debris. Nothing else. Don't get those COVID shots. You don't want a little bit of methane. <laughs> Just a shot or two. I'm sitting on top of the leach field. I mean, I don't know what happened. I got plenty of methane. Hey, Chef, it's fine. Doesn't smell real good. I bet it smells like shiot. Yeah, but I don't have any aluminum oxide. I'm um, dioxide. Aluminum, uh, dang on it. Where's the, get the website. Uh, like I think there's more aluminum in all of this than you realize. Scotty <laughs> 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 must have a lot of aluminum in him. <laughs> I don't feel like I have a lot of aluminum in me, but I might. You got, you've got a lot of something in you. Yeah, but you got to pay extra for that. <laughs> hey, you're interfering with an ongoing QSO, sir. Yeah, it's malicious interference. Okay, he uh, he signed off. He gone. He gone. Need a bigger box, sir. It's on the way. <laughs> Did you order it from Mousy Tongue? Yes, tw twice. Big Chinese amp. When it gets back, I'm sending the KF-80 to Ohio. Good Lord, man. They've already raped you on that aircraft, dude. Don't do it. How, how do you figure? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, the parts were all by 600 bucks. That's what we had to go back to there. Wow. $300 for labor. Good thing you got a job. It was a hundred dollars for shipping. Yeah. Man, don't you're making it work. <laughs> That's terrible. You could it happens. Are you, well, where else are you gonna buy buy one of those for that price? I'm not doing it. As a matter of fact, I got my amp over here covered up. It's not. I'm not even using it. You paid almost. You you paid almost as much for that as I paid for mine. Paid four grand, four grand for that thing. Yeah, and it's only a thousand watts. Yeah, I know, but you know, it's... but it's not broken. Not yet. Well, uh, yeah, I know, but you me... haven't had it that long. Hey, I'm surprised my this thing, this amp's working, but I'm surprised that it had lasted as long as it had. Amazing. Absolutely. I mean, it's well engineered. I mean, those Bulgarians, they got it going on. No, I'm talking about mine. I'm, I'm surprised it lasted for as long as it did. <laughs> well, I mean, no one wants to say anything, but yeah, we had a we had a lottery going. And all of y'all lost. We, we lost. It lasted a lot longer than we thought. That's why I carried the back of my pickup truck. Should have kept that uh, Tokyo high power. Oh no, that was the biggest piece of shit I'd ever seen. I tell you what, God dang, what? Yeah. I didn't wait, stutter. Wait a minute, wait. One one little mistake and that thing was done, dude. Yeah, you're fine business. I can get thirteen hundred out of this. Not my bad. Let me, let me, uh... Anyway, good evening to you. Sounding good. 
Uh, I've seen 22 out of the Tokyo. God dang, uh, come on now. But one little mistake, and it, it, it was toast. Yeah, you know, they talk about how protected it is. It ain't protected at all, not the least little bit, man. That, that, had, uh, that had less protection in it than the KF-80 DM. I mean, the KF-80 D just won't transmit if it's out, if you're you know you don't change the band switch you know and nothing happens. A Tokyo high power, you better be on the right band when you throw a carrier into it or or whatever, because as soon as it gets you know even audio, as soon as it gets a signal into it, if it ain't on the right band that you're on, it's pop. You're done. Are you running a double bazooka? I, I'm running a quadruple bazooka. Hey, I'm running a brand new double bazooka pointed your direction. 50 feet at the apex. No, uh, your signal's still on the S10. 100 watts, 100 whiskeys. Oh, I'm sorry, it's S7. Hermes Light. Stupid mother. Don't feel so good, man. I think I got a Tagano Kaka Kaka. Tagano Kaka what? In alcohol. I caught it from a toilet seat. Well, if I told you to quit licking them things. Thirty W four H Y. Let me out. Jumping jack flash. Ten four. Ten four. Ten. See what you get from licking them toilet seats. <laughs> You know why Scotty hasn't been on? He's been getting steady snapper. Oh, you see, what's the real I'm the number of the I don't give a shit party when it comes to power. Is that guy in the tractor, has he been drinking? Gag order by a judge. Put a gag order on it. 
I don't carry the Adams uh, Jefferson drift. There was a, there was the Sedition Act. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Sedition Act. <laughs> Sedition Alien Act during the Adams presidency. That was a sad day in American history, actually, but I just can't remember if somebody could, could bring it up and, and keep me informed. Was there ever a time in American history when a former president was issued a gag order by a judge? That's, that's the question I'm putting out there. Oh, well, it's a good point, but the problem is we're paying for all this stuff. You know, probably not. Maybe so. I don't know. But like I said, there's reasons and rhymes behind every of it. It's sad that, you know, you know, like, yeah, we can maybe disagree with a lot of the things, you know, and I disagree with you on quite a bit of things, and you probably disagree with me on a lot of things. But it doesn't do any good if you can't make your country stronger. You make it stronger or you make it weaker, you know, one of the two. And everybody has different viewpoints of making it stronger or weaker. And I think every American citizen out there wants to see it stronger, more brilliant, more vibrant, less murder, less you know, chaos. We don't want to see all this insanity buffoonery going on in this country, in this world, and be a laughing stock of the rest of the world, which we are right now. If you listen to a lot of the news in the other countries there, oh, Lord, man, they just laugh at us now. Before, they were proud of us about four years ago. Amazing how it changes in just a few short years. Anyway, and the division, you know, it's just like any house. A house divided is going to be a house falling. We're at 30 something trillion dollars in debt. Uh, we pay a trillion dollars a year in, in our debt problem to get by. It can't continue on. We will fall. There will be a global collapse one day. There is going to be a break put on. We are going to be default somehow, some way. You can't stop it. It's going to happen. And then we want to be strong enough, infrastructure-wise, to rebuild ourselves. But if we don't have the infrastructure and everything's outsourced, we're in deep doo-doo. That's all I got to say. Have a good day. You know, KN4, NJM. I'm out of here. I got your politics. Yes, we, we are in debt. And, and the debt, you have to delineate, you have to separate the debt from the deficit. Those are two different things. The deficit is, let me explain this to you. I don't know if you're aware of this. I don't know if you're aware of this. Let's say you have $100 income and you spend that $20. You have a $20 deficit. But your credit card debt is still, oh, let's say, $1,000. And you've got to pay interest. That's the debt. So $1,000 is your credit card debt. That's your debt. The $20 will be added to the $1,000. The $20 is the deficit. That's your deficit. So, in, in a simplistic explanation, there's the deficit and there's the debt. They are different. Right now, the deficit under Biden is going down. It's not really Biden going up. The debt is going up. The debt went up more under Trump than any other president. But it wasn't really Trump's fault. It was the COVID relief act. But he pushed it and Congress passed it. So I mean, you can play this stupid I got your politics, but you have to worry about your budget money. Yeah. Oh, I'm the best president than any other president, but it wasn't his fault, really. It was the COVID all over the world, and now we're resetting the economy. We're still doing the COVID reset. So I mean, don't be stupid, please. If you want to play, I got the politics. I can play the blue team with you. And the blue team says the debt went up higher under President Trump in the history of this nation. That, that the percentage of increase was higher under Trump than any other president in our history. You're playing into stupidity. You're playing into stupid. I got the politics. I asked 
a simple question about was there ever a former president that was issued a gag order by a judge? And I'm thinking back, and I uh, Nixon, Sirica, did Judge Sirica issue a gag order to Richard Nixon during the Watergate uh, trial? But he wasn't a defendant. So Nixon was never a defendant. He was he wasn't a former president, so that doesn't fly. Yeah. 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 Well, we still got a deficit, but they're not they're so exaggerated as they were. But it wasn't yeah. Trump's fault. It was COVID. People weren't working. They did that huge corporate tax reduction. Revenues were down. Business was down. The economy was terrible during COVID. And it wasn't Trump's fault. Don't play that stupid. You, you're being played. You're being played, and you're not even aware of it. You're too stupid to know you're being played. And you're playing that stupid, I got your politics, red team, blue team. Good God, man. Wake up. Wake up, man. Smell the friggin' coffee. Don't be stupid. Bring more DAT. Over Donnie, Donnie, get your panties in a wad, Donnie. It's okay. I wasn't trying at all to do that. You put words in the mouth there that's misconstrued there. Like I said, I have no idea, but, you know, you got to feel it all out. But you're way wrong on, you know, why I'm trying to play you or anything like that. I'm just saying the way I see it and the way I see the world as it is. Everybody sees it differently. You'll see it your way. I see it my way. No way that I'm calling you, and I ain't gonna call you stupid because you're, you know, we already know. I think that we had a vote out here now. And they can say who's more stupid, you or me. Maybe both of us will lose. <laughs> I don't know. I don't care what other people think. You know, I don't care what you think that way. You know, I'm not trying to play in the, you know, politic. I got you stuff. There it has nothing to do with that. So you're misunderstanding. You think you're being attacked, but I'm not attacking at all. You know. So, uh, sorry about the way you're thinking. And, uh, yeah, it, I don't, like I said in the very beginning, no matter anything, you know, I want to see us unite, not divide. Now I want to see the world out the last stop. You're a good bit of money here. That's true. You know, we've got some, uh, our military, our weaponry, our defense is uh, right now. So almost nothing. Nothing. A lot wrong. A lot wrong. We can go on all night, you and me. And we're just a little poor. We can't do it. Dad can't do anything about it. So at the end of the day, we're going to sit back there and just watch the turn anyway. And we can't stop that wheel. We're going to go whichever way it goes. Have a good day, Don. Stay in for it. I haven't heard that yet. And you, Craig. Oh, now he's going to so continue to talk on top of me, right? We spit it out, get it, said, or you play, Dr. Sherman. But, I mean, you're playing, that you're still playing that stupid I got you politics. Trump spent an incredible amount of money in Afghanistan. Or the Congress did. Congress did. That's who spent the money, not the president. Congress has the sole power of appropriation. So when you say we're spending crazy money in Ukraine, we have a Republican Congress. That's who spends the money. Republicans. So the money that's being spent in Ukraine is a bipartisan by Democrats and Republicans. Joe Biden doesn't spend money. Congress spends the money. Congress could end the war. But Trump and Obama spent so much money in Afghanistan, it makes uh, it makes uh, Ukraine look like a flea market on Saturday morning that nobody goes to. You're stupid. You're just plain stupid. You put out this stuff, you know, if, 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 uh, Biden spending all the money in Ukraine. But please, Biden shut the war down in, in, in Afghanistan. It would have been shut down anyway. It was going to be shut down no matter who the president was. But, oh, 
But they sp during Trump president, they, they spent so much money in Afghanistan, it's unbelievable. And it accomplished nothing. But it wasn't really Trump's fault. He had inherited that war from Obama, but he didn't do uh, it. wide at 75 meter. Have a good day. Can for and Jim. You're being played. The amount of money checked out and see how much money we spent in Afghanistan and then compare it to what we're spending in Ukraine. It's minuscule, really. We spent so, and, and check out the money we sent to Israel. By God, they're the number one recipient of foreign aid for the last 75 years. You're stupid. All you play in is I got your politics. Stupid. I po you're, all you're doing is regurgitating right wing, left wing media, Fox yeah. News, MSNBC, yeah. or, or, or whatever goofy place you're going to. And they're playing you because you're stupid. N4 TAT over. Yeah. It makes me feel prepared for the people that are so stupid and listen to me. Are you okay, man? Donnie, just get a four UD You're preaching to the choir, I think, Donnie. Nobody really cares. Honestly, I don't. Uh, I'll let the rest of the agenda voice their opinion, but uh, good evening. Donnie's yeah. Well, you know, he, he's got his opinion, but uh, I like the topic of the we do this myself instead of politics. I gotta go check my mail, but uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I mean, every they, they talk about politics like college football. They talk about war is like a sporting event. I've been to war. It ain't a damn. Gotta clean that event. nasal blockage. And, uh, and Ukraine, Russia, hell, the first casualty of a war is the truth. What you're seeing on your TV or reading on your computer about the war in Ukraine is garbage. I don't know what's you happening in Ukraine. Ukraine. Don't get me wrong. I have no idea. But what you're being fed, what you're being spoon fed about that war is just propaganda about both sides, all sides. And uh, as far as money, uh, well, uh, it's, uh, you're too stupid to talk to. You just play too stupid to talk to. M4 TAT. I was just asking her questions. I wasn't. I was just asking her questions. Has there ever been a time in America's history where a former president was issued a gag order? And I don't. It's not rhetorical. I don't. Uh, for you guys that have a vocabulary uh, problem, I don't know the answer to that question. It's not a question that I know the answer to. Was there ever a time in American history? Where a former president was issued a gag order. about the weed eaters at the line more. That's yeah. more sensible in my vocabulary, Donnie. WA for UDK. Why do you care? Hey, well, thank you for that. Yeah, I, I have problems with the English language. I'll be the first to admit it. But I, uh, I, you know, I mean... I'm just so sick of this red team, blue team, I got your politics. I'm just so sick of it. It's just, it's just these people are watching Fox or CNN or reading these YouTube or social media sites. and They, they should read some history, some 
They should read history and forget about current politics. And maybe read some, you know, some academia, a historical account. Abraham Lincoln's letters, okay? Those all of Abraham Lincoln's letters were not released until the 1940s. And, and then you, you know, extrapolate that to all of that. All, you, you bring that forward to another understanding that, you know, you've heard of the log cabin Republicans, right? The gateway of the Republican Party. It's because of those letters that were that were released in the 1940s of Abraham Lincoln when he wrote these passionate letters to this army lieutenant that was, you know, men slept together back then to keep warm. The White House was a very dangerous place in the Civil War. So, and he wrote this very passionate letter. I don't believe Abraham Lincoln was gay, but there's a certain group of people in the Republican Party since Abraham Lincoln was a Republican that took those letters to mean that he was gay. He said how much he missed this, this young lieutenant and, you know, how much time they spent, you know, keeping that job. Well, you'd have to read the letter. But anyway, that's not, it's, you know, people read between the lines and come up with some goofy stuff. And, uh, you know, what could you do about it? I'm not sure. Instantaneous news cycle we're in, where we got these people selling things pharmaceuticals. Yeah, here's, here's what I like to ask you guys to do: when you when you when you when you look at these people like Fox or CNN or these different blogs or wherever you're looking, see what they're selling. See. <laughs> a lot of them is selling stuff like something to make your hair grow, something to make you go to the bathroom, something to make you not go to the bathroom, something that will make you, you know what, a little bigger or a little more firm or, or just, go, or you're, you know, just really stupid stuff or uh, you don't have to worry anymore, I got a car shield. I mean, so look at what they're selling. Don't ever buy anything off the TV. That's the first rule. Don't ever buy anything to see it every time you know, on the TV, pretty much. And this Bud Light thing. I mean, my God. Are you telling me those people, the marketing researchers at Bud Light, one of the largest breweries in the world, I think it's four and old. You're telling me they didn't know how that was going to play out. They played each and every one of you assholes. I, I'm sorry, you nice guys. I mean, all that hoopla about Bud Light. Those guys knew exactly what they they were doing. I'm not sure they, what they were doing. I don't know what they were doing, but they knew what was going to, to transpire. Exactly what was going to transpire. You guys are being played. Every time you turn around, every step you make, every, they're watching you. They're watching you, and they know more about you than you know about yourself. And they're slapping you around, and they love every friggin' minute of it. 10 4 That's what I'm doing right now. Have a nice day. Four teams. Appreciate that info. Careful or careful. W-A-4-U-D-K. How come every time you talk on the radio, you talk about children, the privileged children, Martin Luther King Day, giving candy away, and you talk about gay people? Why, why do you do that? some sort of uh, gay person that wants to express it or you have a bad day? Did you ever allow uh, the childhood to come out into you or, or you have a, a man who wanted to do it? 
I'm just curious. He talks about weeding his lawnmowers. Now you want to talk about anything. You want to talk about weeders and lawnmowers? Yeah, every time I hear him, he wants to talk about gays and all that. Who cares? I'm not supposed to be alone with Johnny. Johnny, do you need psychological help? I'm just asking. Over. Do you feel like committing suicide, Donnie? Over. If you do, you need to call that 1-800 hotline they have. But, uh, I'll tell you what, we, we don't appreciate all that stupid rhetoric you come out of oh, gay people and children. I mean, we're, we're not like that. We're not like you. But uh, if you want to talk about weed eaters, the apple potatoes, we'll talk about that all. Oh, yeah. And Donnie, I... Oh, boy. Personally, you dig it up. Abraham Lincoln's documents and stuff about sleeping with men. Something's wrong. The, even Springbody even said this. The Bible says men should not sleep together. Or Donnie needs his privacy cut off. Donnie, you need help. He needs his privacy cut need off. Help. Call that 800 number real quick. Or Damn, Donnie, they sure are giving you hell, buddy. <laughs> we can help you. We can help you, Donnie. Yeah, Donnie, you, you come in here and talk about weed eaters and apple potatoes. We'll talk to you all day, but when you start... Oh, my God, he does move in an amplifier and an amplifier.
they started. They started. <laughs> You know, uh, you know who sung that there, uh, didn't you, Patrick? Uh, thank God for Greyhound. Wingo what? Wingo what? Wingo what? Wingo what? Good groundhogs that uh, oh, been killed okay. here today, and uh, they're cooking right now. A couple of good young groundhogs. WA4UDK. Hey, 
What is with the UDK dude? What's wrong with you? Calling CQ. Calling CQ. Calling CQ. Calling CQ. 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 Don't even think about bringing that up. You're making him mad. 